All right, all right, all righty, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one, the only paid to drive, one of the only channels on YouTube, trying to put a little bit more of that money right back in your pocket in so many ways. Shout out to BZ. Go subscribe to him. So hope you guys are doing great. Uh, good morning or good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you're watching this. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm probably not doing this as a premiere, but uh, what I'm going to talk to you guys about, I do. I seriously hope that this does not happen to apps like DoorDash, uh, to Grubhub. You know, um, let this be an example. I don't think it can happen. I'm going to say I don't think it is, but listen to the story and then let me know what your thoughts are and everyone give a big shout out in the comments everyone real quick if you could leave a quick comment and say thank you joe joe wood is the person who sent this to me so thank you joe i appreciate that for letting me know uh the link will be in the description and if it's not in the description please leave me a comment say hey pete can you just fix the link or put the link in the description because sometimes i'm multitasking and i forget to do it so i apologize all right, so we're going to jump into that in just a moment. Uh, and of course, guys, once this video receives 150 thumbs up, we will be on to the next video or live stream or whatever. Comment 111 if you hit the like, 222 if you haven't yet. The likes are very low down there. There's not too many likes. So let's uh, definitely smash that like button real good now. And let's say thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Come hang out with us after the video on patreon.com slash paid to drive. It's exclusive. Only certain people are in there. So go check it out. See if you're interested. Uh, but thank you to Kimberly Thomas, Brian Pomeroy, Grubby, Gig Life with Lexi, William Boudreau, Dave Chin, Drive Gig with Renee, Drew Honor, Katie Coppin, Reggie Wims, uh, Rideshare Lisa, Natalie Mosley, Michael Tobin, Stephen Neely, Anna Marie Jenkins, Destiny Rudolph, Brian, Frank, uh, Jason Casta, Aunt Sherry Cassidy, Kelly Sego, and Larry Fritzum. Come join us. Come hang out. Uh, Patreon.com slash uh, pay to drive. It's going to be a good time. Come hang out with us and let's read this article. So, Kara Carmichael has been an Instacart shopper for years in Orlando, Florida. It's how she's been able to support her family, she told TechCrunch. But she says she has noticed an increase in third-party bot activity that has made shopping nearly impossible. Now let me pause for a moment. Remember what I said. This is not directly about DoorDash or Grubhub, but I'm just saying I hope this does not happen. I don't think it will, and that'll be one of the questions for today. Do you think that what I'm about to read could happen on DoorDash or Grubhub? You tell me in the comments. Uh, so despite the high demand for Instacart amid this pandemic, shoppers like Carmichael are facing difficulties claiming orders within the shopper app. This is the result of what appears to be some sophisticated work by third-party apps like Ninja Hours, Sushopper, and others. They grab the batches within a blink of an eye, Carmichael said. I can barely see the amounts offered. Sometimes I may even just receive a notification because the batch has been taken before it has it was even registered in my app. Ninja Hours appeared on the scene about a year ago in the Little Havana community in Miami, according to Logan B., an Instacart shopper with experience using Ninja Hours. Shoppers could pay Ninja Hours about $25 to $35 a week to get access to hours for the following week, and in exchange, Ninja Hours would take over the shopper's app to claim hours on their behalf. This was during a time when Instacart required shoppers to claim hours rather than on-demand orders. Ninja Hours also provided account activations for immigrant workers without proper documentation. For $200, according to Logan, undocumented Im immigrants could pay Ninja Hours to create an account for them so they could shop. Logan says Instacart eventually caught on to Ninja Hours, which forced the service to shut down. Ninja Hours then became Hours for You, which emerged in the fall. Logan says, Hours for You then folded into Sus Shopper or Sus Hopper, Sus Hopper earlier this year. The site would go offline for a week and then they would send you a text message. He said it was always written in Spanish, really targeting the Latino community. 
Others, uh, other shoppers didn't seem to notice this was going on. Logan says because Sus Hopper would claim the workers, uh, claim the orders before they would even appear on the apps. But now that Sus Hopper has shut down, there's a new service, one that is not quite as fast. There's definitely still a service out here because I'm not getting anything at all. Logan, who has since stopped paying for early access to orders, said there's no way anyone would be able to grab it that fast. What's happening is that shoppers can see the orders come in, but then they pretty much immediately disappear. Below, you can see a GIF of how the moment batches become available, one order immediately disappears. So, I'm obviously, because of the way I'm recording this, I can't show you on the screen, but what I'm seeing right here, it says no batch is available, we'll, notice, we'll notify you when batches are nearby. But then as soon as he refreshes, they're gone, like instantly, because these these bot programs are grabbing them, kind of like grabbing blocks or dashes or things like that. Uh, with this new service, which he doesn't know the name of, the messages are coming in in Portuguese. That leads him to believe it's run by a different group of people. It's so mainstream now, it seems just about everywhere is having a problem, Logan said. Instacart has acknowledged this as this is a practice that goes on, but says that this is not a breach of its platform. The safety and security of the entire Instacart community is our top priority, an Instacart spokesperson told TechCrunch. We have several robust security measures in place to ensure the security of the Instacart platform. Selling or purchasing batches is not an authorized use of the Instacart platform and is a violation of our terms of service. Anyone found to be engaged in any type of inappropriate or fraudulent use of the Instacart platform, including selling or purchasing batches, or utilizing any types, any of these types of services will have their accounts immediately deactivated. We advise shoppers not to engage with any individual uh, or company that claims to provide priority access to batches on the platform, particularly those that request sensitive information such as Instacart usernames, passwords, and or credit card information. So what they're saying here, let me just pause for a second, is that they are saying that this right here could lead to deactivation by using third-party services. So think about that. If this was something that was working on DoorDash or Grubhub, this could get you deactivated on these services as well. I'm assuming the same terms of service and the same circumstances or consequences would be very similar. You know, let me know. Do you agree with that? That this would get you deactivated on DoorDash or Grubhub. Put that in the comments down below. And guys, the likes are not looking too good down there. They're very low. So comment 111 if you hit the like button. Comment 222 if you haven't yet. If the like button is gray, uh, that's that means you didn't hit it yet. So give it a quick tap. Hit Turn it uh, blue. And then the like number will go up. Thank you. Let's get 150 likes. Then we'll be on to the next video. Uh, despite Instacart's efforts, it's gotten so bad that Carmichael ends up sitting in her car for hours waiting for a batch she can try to snag before the bots. My thumbs are sore and eyes are strained, she said. I've only managed to grab four orders. My livelihood is literally being snatched out from beneath me. She and others have reached out to Instacart to report the issue, Carmichael said, but in her experience and the experience of those she knows, Instacart has not responded. Some shoppers, however, are able to get through to Instacart support about the issue. As you can see below, Instacart acknowledges an issue and told one shopper it will be fixed as soon as possible. Before the bot active activity ramped up in Orlando, Carmichael was receiving about 20 orders a week. Despite the week of March 16th uh, to the 22nd, for example, Carmichael completed 26 batches, according to documents reviewed by TechCrunch. Last week, she was only able to claim 11. This week, she has only been able to get four batches. This increased bot activity comes at a time when Instacart is ramping up its hiring of full-service shoppers. Just yesterday, Instacart announced it's adding 250,000 more shoppers to meet demand. That came after Instacart announced last month its plans to hire another 300,000 shoppers. The increased number of full-service shoppers coupled with third-party bots quickly claiming orders, it's no wonder why some shoppers are feeling frustrated. Behind the scenes, Instacart is working to ban unauthorized third parties from accepting batches. In the meantime, the company is recommending shoppers not engage with those services. Wow, that's messed up. And look, look, what's, look what it's doing now. It's getting these companies to say, hey, you know, don't use these services. Don't use Instacart. And if this was DoorDash and Grubhub, they'd be saying, don't use DoorDash. Don't use Grubhub. And I'm sorry about the light coming in and out like that. I should probably get closer there. So um, 
What are your thoughts on this, guys? Let me know down below in the comments section. There's not too many comments right now. I know it's early, but depending on the time when you're watching this, definitely let me know. Do you think this is something that if this came to DoorDash or Grubhub, this could be deactivating drivers? Let me know your thoughts. And, of course, we don't have too many likes down there. Be sure to smash that like. Comment 111 if you hit the like, 222 if you haven't yet. And, of course, if this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn the notifications on. Uh, thank you for getting us to 19,000 subscribers. So uh, I'm thanking you guys. It's not something I did. It's something we did. So thank you for getting us all to 19,000 subscribers. You can put that in the comments if you want. I'm thanking you guys so you guys can thank each other. So, um, and of course, please make sure you're saving money with the Get Upside Gas app, comment 333. If you guys are on the Get Upside Gas app, comment 444 if you're not yet. All you do is download it for free. Down, link is in the description down below. Pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back which is fantastic, and if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description down below. And that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to subscribe, and of course, come hang out with us after this on Patreon, patreon.com slash pay to drive. All right, link's in the description down below. Uh, I got to thank Kimberly Thomas, Brian Pomeroy, Grubby, Gig Life with Lexi, William Boudreau, Dave Chin, Drive Gigger with Renee, Drew Hanor, Katie Coppin, Reggie Wims, Lisa, uh, Rachel Lisa, Natalie Mosley, Michael Tobin, Stephen Neely, Anna Marie Jenkins, Destiny Rudolph, Brian, Frank, uh, Jason Casta, Sherry Cassidy, Kelly Sego, and Larry Fritzum. If you want your name on this list, come hang out with us over on patreon.com slash pay to drive. Links in the description, like I said. Let's get those likes going. Please share the video with one other driver. And that's all I got for right now. Get that money. Get that honey. Keep hustling. Keep bustling. And if you can, stay home. Save lives and help stop the spread. And we'll see you next time right here on Pay to Drive. And I'm so sorry about this damn light. This happened at the worst time. But anyway, thanks for dealing with me. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Peace, everyone. Smash that like. I know I'm annoying. But just do it.